You've all seen the colors that are coming back, the decorations being hung up, and the pumpkin spice lattes now available at your local coffee shops. If we look at all of these things, what do they indicate? Halloween is almost here. As this fantastic holiday approaches, you'll see more and more of these signature things that make Halloween everything that it is. Now, when I say Halloween, some of the same things will pop into all of your heads. But really, what is it and what do we not know? Today, we'll find the answers to those questions as we carve into the origins of Halloween, discuss some traditions that are associated with Halloween, and why it is so popular and liked today. First, let's carve into the origins of Halloween. Halloween dates back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. According to the Library of Congress blogs, this was a pagan religious celebration that welcomed the end of summer, the welcome the harvest at the end of summer. People would light bonfires and dress up in costumes in hopes to ward off ghosts and spirits. Pope Gregory III made November 1st as a day to honor all saints. When this was established, All Saints Day started to incorporate the traditions of Samhain. The evening before this day became known as All Hallows Eve and is now known as our modern day Halloween. The colors during this time, the colors black and orange were already being used during this during this time, and black was to represent the death of summer and orange was to welcome the autumn season that was soon to approach. Another frequently asked question is why are bats associated with Halloween or even black cats? Well, when Celts would light bonfires, the fires themselves would attract insects and this in turn attracted bats. They frequently noticed the, these appearances, and they believed that it was to do with the religious gather, with the religious traditions that they were performing. Black cats date back to the Middle Ages, and these dark felines were known to be a symbol of the devil. Later on, witches were seen owning black cats, and this furthered the belief that they were to do with evil. One more sweet thing that has its own origin is candy. Before the 20th century, the treats being handed out were not really candy. They were things like fruits, nuts, coins, and toys. Now that we have learned some background information on the history of Halloween, we can learn some more by knocking on some doors to collect some sweet treats of knowledge. Trick-or-treating is one of the most popular traditions for Halloween today. According to history.com, This was borrowed from Europe, and this is when Americans started dressing up in costumes, going door to door to ask for food or money. This eventually led into the modern day trick-or-treating that we now know, kids dressing up, going door to door, asking for candy. In the late 1800s, or during the late 1800s is when these innocent traditions became more popular and the dark evil witchcraft side of Halloween started to fade. Taking a step back, we can further discuss something that was already brought up along with trick-or-treating. This is dressing up in costumes. When you're out on Halloween night, you can see many children dressing up in costumes or maybe even some parents dressing up and having some fun for the night. There's usually a vast variety of costumes that are presented each year, and this is a way for people to really show creativity and get into the spirit of Halloween. Now that we have discussed some traditions that go along with Halloween, we can take a look at how this holiday approaching affects things that have to do with everyday life. For example, you may find yourself watching TV or movies in your free time day to day. There typically is not a reoccurring theme with movies all the time. Well, in October, there are 31 nights of Halloween, and this is usually reiterated by many channels. Yeah, it's a, this adds something new and exciting as you're browsing through your guide, and you may even find some fan favorite horror movies such as Scream, Friday the 13th, the Halloween series itself, and many more. There are many traditions that make Halloween everything, everything that we truly know it to be. Finally, there's some remaining information that needs to be discussed about Halloween. This information is definitely gonna come in candy. <laughs> Halloween is celebrated within so many different families and all of these individuals have the most fun that they can with everything being participated in. According to Britannica, some people, or no, according to Britannica, the Hall- Halloween's religious trappings have almost all but disappeared. It is now known as a time for children to dress up and have fun. 
This holiday brings joy to so many people and there is for sure a love when it comes to decorating. When you walk in a store, you can see all the fun theme lights, costumes, makeup, or hanging items, costumes, makeup, and so much more. The fact that there is such a variety of things help make up the popularity for this holiday. It is so diverse that people are able to be extremely creative and have a great time. According to thriveworks.com, some people just enjoy the holiday while others take advantage of the fact that they get to socially be a part of something that is typically unconventional. Having the freedom to dress completely how you want is a primary reason as to why this holiday is loved. One more thing that cannot be forgotten in this discussion is candy. Children love candy and it is a huge part of Halloween. It brings so much joy to kids to be able to walk door to door, dress up in costumes, and audibly say trick or treat. This fills their bag, bucket, or pillowcase with tons and tons of candy. They have a great time in the moment, but grow even more excited when they get to go home and eat it all. It looks like Halloween is coming up very soon, so our time is almost up. Before we all leave, let's recap this experience by sorting the king-size Kit Kats from the Circus Peanuts. <laughs> Today, you all carved into the origins of Halloween. We knocked on some doors to discuss the traditions associated with Halloween and talked about why it is so popular and liked today. I hope that all your questions are answered and that you all have a very fantastic Halloween.